Well, the Minnesota Wild have traded Kevin Fiala to the Los Angeles Kings for Brock Faber and their 2022 first round draft pick, which is 19th overall. So, let's go ahead and get into that. So yeah, like I just said, Kevin Fiala is now heading over to the Los Angeles Kings for defenseman Brock Faber and the 19th pick in the 2022 NHL Draft, or Los Angeles' first round pick. So, how do I feel about this? Not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss Kevin Fiala. He was, again, he was one of our big pieces before Kaprizov got here. He was one of the major, major offensive contributors for us. He was a crucial part of our offense, especially after we got him in a trade for Nat or got him in a trade with Nashville for I want to say that was Mikhail Granlin, if I remember right. The Granlin for Fiala trade. So at the end of the day, that move kind of helped both teams out. And uh yeah. Again, we knew this was coming because this was definitely a salary cap move. Especially after the Parisian suitor buyouts, which really ramp up and are really going to hinder a lot of what the Wild can do this year. I mean, let's be honest here. So, uh, but back to Fiala here. He was a straw that stirred our drink here for, you know, a season before Kaprizov came in and took that over. Him, guys like Eck, Greenway, Felino, they sort of got that foundation down for us. And then, you know, after Boudreaux, Fenton, and all that stuff, you know, and then we got uh, Garen in, helped propel us into potentially being a Western Conference juggernaut. Or what should have been a Western Conference juggernaut, but... <sighs> Fiala was great in the regular season, but he just didn't show up in the playoffs. Like, I... To be fair, though, really, outside of Kaprizov, nobody freaking showed up for us in the playoffs this past year, which still pisses me off to this day. But I digress. I mean, I don't need to reopen any more wounds here. <laughs> you know, such as a fan of a Minnesota sports team. Pretty much, they always show up in the regular season, and when it comes time to playoffs, well, no one shows up. <sighs> but anyway. So, yeah. Again, I'm just thankful we managed to get, you know, a draft pick out of this. We got a young prospect, which, again, depending on also what we do, though, with uh, another name that's been really highly rumored in the... Uh, trade rumor mill of the NHL is Matt Dumba. So yeah, that's going to be another name to kind of keep an eye on moving forward here because, well, Matt Dumba is definitely a lightning rod. I, I, I don't think I'm, you know, saying any breaking news here. I'm not saying anything that Wild fans don't already know. But again, we'll wait and see. <laughs> because this... You know, this free agency period for both the Wild and the Timberwolves are looking like it could be an active one, and it could get spicy. Which, honestly, I'd kind of like, you know, I mean... Because <laughs> both of these teams actually look pretty competitive, and even though we lost Fiala, I mean, we still have enough depth on this team to, at the very least, be a Western Conference playoff team. I mean, we still have Eck. We still have Greenway, who showed up pretty well last year. We still have Felino. We still have Kaprizov. We still have, you know, most of our defensemen coming back. Again, whether you want them to or not. I mean, <laughs> Boldy's looking like a true stud. Tyson Jost might actually be able to move up and potentially show off what he can do. Which, by the way, also, congratulations to Nico Sturm. Still kind of miss you, buddy, but <laughs> at least now you can stay your Stanley Cup champion. God, that still kind of stings, but... Eh, again, what can you do? So... Again, it'll be interesting to see here what happens, you know, now with Fiala gone, who's going to line up with Boldy, you know... Are the lines going to get shuffled up this time because of this? You know, will Rossi show up, you know, from Iowa and stuff like that? Are we going to bring in some more of our prospects from Iowa? 
Who's basically going to become the next Boldy? You know, it, there's a lot of questions that will be answered here come October, November, kind of that area. But all I know is for now, Kevin Fiala is a Los Angeles King and Brock Faber is a Minnesota Wild. At least Minnesota Wild prospect, I should say. So, again, good luck, Fiala. Hopefully you can anchor that LA Kings team, which is already starting to look pretty damn dangerous now again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the LA Kings have some young studs. Quentin Byfield is a name, for instance. They still have Anze Kopitar. They still have, uh, well, they have Drew Doughty. I don't know how much longer he's going to be around. They did lose Dustin Brown, though. So, and with all that said, though, they still managed to make it in the playoffs last year, too. Granted, they got their cheeks clapped in by Edmonton, but, you know. <laughs> LA's going to be a team to watch, so. But, yeah, stay tuned, because as more news and information come out about different moves, yeah, it's going to get crazy, I have a feeling, for the Wild and for the Timberwolves, now that free agency and the draft are coming up for the Wild and free agency for the Timberwolves. Because the Timberwolves are linked to some pretty spicy names. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, yeah. Until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good day.